I'm Gordon Eastman, who produced this True Life outdoor adventure film on hunting, fishing, and wildlife. Wilderness adventure and fair chase trophies define him. A son adds to the legacy and becomes the voice for a generation of hunters. Today, a third generation pursues trophy big game in places where success comes from skill, determination, and grit. Now, 60 years of hunting tradition comes down to one defining moment. We're the Eastmans. Our family's been hunting and filming out west for over 60 years. And these are just a few of our adventures. This is Eastman's Hunting TV. It's big game hunting, and it's as real as it gets. Eastman's Hunting Journal is brought to you by Sig Sauer, Cryptic, Savage, Eberly Stock, Hornady, and Eastman's Hunting Journal. Hey guys, I'm Ike Eastman and welcome to Eastman's Hunting TV. Today, we're gonna chase big mule deer. And when I say big, I mean 208 inch big. This is a giant mule deer. We're gonna go with one of my buddies, Rob Gates. Rob works for Savage. Now we've known Rob for a really long time. It is an epic adventure for a huge deer that's got two, he's almost 40 inches wide. He's got huge stickers off each side. And this buck we've seen in previous years. So we knew this deer was in here and it just takes us a few days to dig him up and get a stock on him. Amazing adventure. So get your backpack, get your rifle. Let's head to Colorado on a mule deer adventure. Well, first night of the hunt, and we've seen a really good buck, a couple little bucks. Let's see what happens. Lots of time. Weather's going to be good. The only hustle we have is as this oak brush starts to turn colors, these bucks start going hard horn, and then they become really hard to find. So, sooner than later. fun hunt. Uh, Rob's looking for a 300 or nothing. <laughs> no, it's been fun. It, this is a, always a good hunt. We take really good deer down here. It's, you know, a lot of glassing and we're just using the glass to do the walking and lots of things to look at. We've seen a couple good deer and some elk. Some know. elk, yeah. This portion of the show has been brought to you by Swagger Bipods. Hunt is what we do. Eastman's Hunting Journal is brought to you by Sig Sauer, Electro Optics, Cryptic, Battlefield to Backcountry, Savage, where better comes standard.
Welcome back to an Eastman adventure. We're in Colorado hunting big trophy mule deer with Rob Gates from Savage Arms. setting up the spotting scope to uh, see what they are. One looks all right. I saw him kind of shine in the, as the sun came up. Thanks, Buck. He'll be great in a couple years, just not there yet. That's an EDHD buck. Oh, really? Yeah. What does that mean? These gnats uh, spread this disease that makes them sterile, makes the buck deer spare it sterile, and they grow funny horns. Huh. If they survive. They do it while they're in velvet. They chew on the velvet. To take our game from the field to the freezer and everything in between, Eastman's Hunting TV depends on the razor sharp replaceable blade knives and game processing sets that get the job done fast from Outdoor Edge. Eastman's Hunting Journal is brought to you by Eberly Stock, get out there. Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. Zamberlin, Discover the difference. Ike Eastman here. The dawn brings on a new day where we're starting in a drainage where I've seen this massive double cheater buck before. Now it's just a game of cat and mouse. Hopefully we don't run out of time. Well, uh, another morning here in Colorado. Bob and I are scouring this country early in the morning as these deer are still up and feeding. It's actually pretty good because we don't have a full moon or anything. Um, they're out a little bit later, which is good. And we're just, we're looking at bucks, seeing lots of bucks, but we haven't found the buck yet. So we will, just time. 
to the right behind that clump. Thought I saw movement is all. That buck's just a buck. Yeah. It's about the same size as what we were just looking at. shoot down on him. We'll see. Hunting Strategies is brought to you by Onyx Hunt. Know where you stand. Hey folks, Ike Eastman here with your Onyx Hunt tip. Today we're going to talk about waypoints. One of the things on this episode that I used Onyx for is I saw this buck a year earlier and obviously I hit a waypoint. Now the tricky part in, in this is not actually the waypoint or where the buck was because that's easy to find how to get back to that point. So I did a track me app behind it. So as we left, it tracked me back to the back to the main the main road. That allowed me a year later to come back to that exact same spot in which it took us a couple days with Rob to find this buck, but it allowed me a starting point. So I wasn't starting from scratch. And as you guys all know, if you've read any of my dad's books or watched any of our shows, these deer, they are patternable. That buck wasn't where we found him, finally, where we found him wasn't 60 yards from where he was literally 12 months prior. Make sure you use waypoints and you can turn them on and off is the other cool thing. So if you're in there, like in this area, we also hunt elk. Well, I can turn all my deer waypoints off and have all my elk waypoints. So when using Onyx, just remember waypoints, turning them on and off and the track me feature. This portion of the show has been brought to you by Baku E-Bikes, the scent-free way to get you farther, faster. Eastman's Hunting Journal is brought to you by Outdoor Edge, quality knives and tools for the big game hunter. Black Rifle Coffee Company, fueling your mission. Eastman's Hunting Journal, your stories, your photos, your magazine. Thanks for coming along with us on this Eastman adventure. We have finally found the buck in the SIG glass. Now let's see if we can cut that distance and make a lethal shot.
Get a good, good width to the right. Oh, he's not velvet, Rob, but by God, he's a hell of a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy buckets! Holy oh my buckets! God. Now all we gotta do is find him <laughs> in that freaking mess. <laughs> second, second finger in, right? Yep. Just as it gets into the shade. Yep. Woo. Can't see him anymore, but that doesn't. Oh, yeah. Look, we have you know, flat. Can it help? I won the point. Leaking good. Oh man. <laughs> Look at that bush. Sheesh. Oh. <laughs> Look at these eye guards, dude. Stickers on both sides. He's got 20, 24 inch mittens. I don't want to say, but he's in the high one night. Look at that. Gee, man, Christmas. I just knew we were. When we found those bucks over on the other side, and then we found the buck down on the bottom, I went, this is the morning. We're going to find him. We are going to find him. Well, Rob, congratulations on a wonderful, unbelievable. Uh, high country Colorado mule deer. I mean, we're at 9,000 feet here. This is uh, this is epic. I mean, this it is was epic, unbelievable. It was fantastic hunt. We saw a ton of deer. We knew this one from earlier had been seen, and so we were really kind of hunting him hard. Kept just showing up in the same spot, same spot. Rob, this morning's like, did you see that big d double? cheater in here or something we keep coming to the same place i said yeah he was right here, right here. <laughs> last time i saw him was right here and he wasn't a half a mile from where, yeah. where i last saw him yeah. so if you see one buck check around there might be his older brother like this guy yeah it was That's awesome older brother for sure eastman's hunting journal presents advanced tips and tactics brought to you by eastman's tag hub your hunt starts here you know, Rob, Rob's uh, with Savage and they, they build an unbelievable rifle as we just saw, you know, one shot right through the heart and he bled out like crazy. It was like somebody dumping a bucket of blood for 30 yards. Hornady uh, ELDX. Yeah. You know, I have, I have yet to lose an animal with those. That's, it's that combo. Fantastic, fantastic combo. <laughs> and uh, I put that six hour scope on the, on the 110 ultralight, clear, crisp, and for me, when when we first started talking about coming on this hunt and i, and I knew sig was uh, going to send me a scope for it the first thing i looked at was weight yep i wanted to see how because we've got a, a really lightweight yeah what is that rifle is it under so this, five yeah a little over five a little under six, six uh with the proof research carbon fiber barrel it's got our accufit stock in it so it's fully adjustable from youth to all the way up through adult and it's probably for savage it's probably the best rifle for weather we've got a melanite coated receiver so you're impervious to to corrosion stainless barrel with uh with the carbon fiber it's uh yeah you're not you're gonna you take that to last on a cheap hunt you're not gonna have to worry about it getting wet and, nope you know that that lightweight hunter under six pounds you wouldn't believe how much that makes a difference when you're walking you know five miles into the back country it's huge it's well, a huge difference I, I last fall i was on a deer hunt and i took one with me walk into the stand now we probably had i don't know close to a mile walk to the to yep. the deer stand but it was you know 10 below zero and i'm carrying all these clothes and it made a huge difference just yeah. going to the deer stand so yeah you know it's it's great for back country high country uh type hunts but it, it works well in other areas. Absolutely. Congratulations, man. Yeah. I, I appreciate yeah. you coming out. Yeah. It's been a blast. Fantastic. Absolute blast. Well, remember, folks, fair chase is the only way to hunt, take trophy big game. We'll see you next time right here on Eastman's. And remember, trophy hunting is conservation.
ten and six eights. Two and seven eights. Oh, oh,